Let's make these pit trap tiles that you can add to your dungeon tile sets. I'm gonna go with a spiked pit trap and I have these skewers that I'm gonna to use to make the spikes out of. I'm just gonna cut the ends of these off and press them up through the bottom and then I'll flock around all of it. I've already pushed these little spikes in through the bottom. I use Eileen's Tacky Glue. It's just a high quality PVA. Put in some of this same dollar store floral moss. Cover the base of this with that. I just wanna like some dead plants in the bottom here. I'm not going to be too systematic about this. I'll just break them up a little bit and sprinkle them in here. I'm going for kind of a, a little bit of a dead and wild plant situation. And so tacked in there, press it down into the glue. And I'll take my little spikes. I have some of my black wash here. I'm just going to drop those right in there and Make them grimier, a little grimy. And I'll just soak in some of that wash for a second. Drop those on some paper towels here. Put a little bit of glue in each of those little holes and press the spike through. Like so. I want to embellish these little spikes a little bit with just some, oh, I mixed up a little bit of this, you know, it'll be like blood on the spikes. And I'll just go in here and sort of stain these with a little bit of this red, kind of doing a dry brush in here. I don't want it to be too overly painted. And I'll go through and just kind of stain up some places throughout the, the foliage there. Just a little hint of gore in there. And there you have that, which I think looks pretty cool for like a spike pit trap. And of course, then I have the little top piece that just goes over it until the trap is triggered. So you just have an unassuming little dungeon tile and someone steps in the wrong place or touches a statue or a gem and poof, there's the pit trap underneath.